All right, Final Fantasy VI again. But it's my fucking birthday. I'm gonna play what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna play my favorite game. We're going CES, Consumer Electronics Show. New game. Here we fucking go. We're doing it. <gasps> well, all the intro rolls, I guess I'll read chat. I just watched a career day rando, and I have no fucking idea. What was happening? Yikes. Ask Yard and Game Facts are ruining the Google search. <laughs> oh. Forgot about ASCII art. Kind of miss ASCII art. Um, I'm doing this until I'm doing this for about 45 minutes. Then I am taking a break to eat birthday cake with my wife, and then I'm coming right back to it. So we're taking a little br uh, cake break. Cake break in a bit. Ooh, I'm gonna pop my collar. Let's get popping. I don't usually pop the collar. It's a special occasion. It's sports day in Japan. The Olympics started. Before anybody tells me there was video game music in the opening ceremony. Yeah, I fucking heard. The Olympics are still dog shit. It's bizarre to look at Twitter and see all of all of the level-headed people who've been condemning the Olympics for what it is for the past months or years. Suddenly like, wow! It's so cool! Twitch chat still has some mask here, but it's usually used to express challenging ideas. That was video game music at the Olympics. G Broken Quest? I actually didn't know about that. Ghost Ribbon, you, all, you, you need a cake break wife. Everyone everyone should have a, uh, a dessert spouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's the term. These are, this is Tina and her two goons. You should pull up the coffee scene from Earthbound. Oh, refresh my memory. I forget what the coffee scene is. You're talking about hot coffee? <laughs> but put a cake in the middle of it. What? I had goons. Magitek goons. I don't want to skip this. But I bet it's funny if we fast forward it. Yeah, it is! <laughs> Look at him go! Oh, they're coming up on that mining town. Ted Wilson. It's when you reflect about your adventure. Oh, right, right, those coffee scenes. Yeah, it's like, bro, we've been through a lot. Yeah. Oh, that would be, that would be a good idea. Fuck, I should have planned for that. I didn't. Oh, yeah, use an open-faced club, the sand wedge. Mm -hmm. Open-faced club sand wedge. I'm surprised that Foon hasn't made one of those, to be honest. Who's Foon? Is that your alter ego? <laughs> Twitter person who does the, uh... You got your Vicks Vapor Rub in my sandwich. Gross. Video game text box generator. Oh, death generator? I fucking love death generator. That's where a lot of my overlay shit came from. I should know who Foon is. Y'all get in the back row. Hey, that's Foon. Nice! Good work by Foon. <laughs> I love that single bark. Tech missile or burst? Why not both? Ah, oh, fuck, fuck. Gotta go to options and set memory. Man, I've been, I've been pulling a lot of followers for, for DQ10. <gasps> Thank you, Arky! I'm 24 years young. My favorite is Bioblast. Bioblast is good. Fuck, I forgot to do it. So yeah, yeah, I've been, um... Getting a lot of followers through DQ10, so I might, I might, this might just become a DQ10 stream at some point. BRB Bioflas, <laughs> oh no! Hey, I don't, I don't know if anybody else here is friends with, uh, Tau. Tau Renensis. Tau Renensis? He's a, you know, he's got, he's got a, a cool channel. And, uh, I'm... 
he uh, he's a he's a bar regular, and he told me a story. He didn't so much tell me a story as he showed me the YouTube clip of him telling the story on stream. Um, long story short, um, he basically uh, just uh, did a huge liquid shit uh, onto a closed toilet seat because he didn't turn the light on and assumed that the seat would be up. <laughs> and uh, that's the story. He tells it better. Memory, there we go. He, he was going out for dinner with his mom. She came to visit Japan. He was like, uh-oh. Can't go to dinner because I gotta get this out of my body. Ran upstairs. Didn't realize his mom had closed the toilet seat because mom. And then just didn't even turn on the light. Let it all completely fly. <laughs> and it just... Just everywhere. Uh, then his mom comes back upstairs like, what's wrong? Nothing! He ends up uh, just mopping it up with a bath towel. <laughs> And then throwing the bath towel into a garbage bag and throwing the garbage bag outside. How rude putting the seat down in somebody else's house. Yeah, DQM stream is going to happen. Ooh, tonic. Quality content, it really is. Oh, made me laugh so hard. Welcome to the Final Fantasy VI Consumer Electronics Show. I'm Alex, your host. We're only going to be beating up a clown with three special kids. They are Celeste, Edgar, and Brian Setzer. You know what? Heal yourself. You know what? Bioblast those idiots. Oh, get blasted. I want a Flintstones living toilet so it can scream at guests who do things like leave the seat up. That's a good idea. Now they can, uh, you know, swallow a bunch of poop and say... It's a leaving. There it is. Thank you, Broken Quest, with the assist. <laughs> oh... I mean, sure, but what kind of living? Excellent. It's Mike! Oh, crap. They love poison. They crave it. More like, I'm dead inside. Eh, I'm dead inside. Perfect. I tried to poison rats, and it bit me in the ass. The plan, not the rats. Then I'd be poisoned. So I was thinking about what kind of items and espers I can get in the World of Ruin. Offering is on the table. Because that's in the Sunken Castle and we just need Edgar for that. But all the cool shit from Narsh. Uh, specifically... Illumina and Paladin Shield. That's no good. Ain't doing that. But I figure we're going to be teaching everybody magic. I mean, maybe I'll do a... Uh, Natural magic only CES combo run at some point, but not quite yet. First we want to do them separate, then we'll combine them. I don't need info on save points, don't you know who I am? Eh, we'll save her. Bring. Fire beam. Man, oh man. I am stuffed. Oh. My wife made a sumptuous feast. It was so good, but now I can't move. We had sashimi, scallops sauteed in butter. Pasta. Fried shrimp with the uh, sweet chili sauce. And a big bowl of rice. 
Uh oh, Bosso. Uh oh, Chongo. Did you, do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning and craps thunder? No, I think this is it. Oh gosh, Vix, well, we've trained for this. No oh, boy. Fire beam. Tech missile. Uh, are you gonna give me a Gru? No Grus. No Gru. Oh, that's a Gru. Fuck. I think some folks are gonna die. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, this is this was this was a poor idea. Please just mega fold everybody. Yay! Still bad. We're just gonna die. I am I am Gru. We're it's just gonna die real bad. He is so dead. Look at his corpse. Please heal girl Chan. Wow, I don't know if this is I don't know that this has happened to me like since I was a kid. <laughs> Losing any character to the Welk. Here comes that Gru. Fill up my meter. Big birth to energy. I've got it. And I'm redirecting it, redirecting it at this Welk. Wedge is dead. <laughs> it was my one birthday wish to kill Wedge. Bye. Wedge is dead. But did he ever really live? Fish and mild. Fish and mild. I mean, Wedge just spent the last four years of his life at the Academy. He never even cultivated a personality. And now he's a corpse! He's a corpse. That's what I said. <laughs> he's a corpse. <laughs> Fission Milo. Milo? Fission Milo. <laughs> Gork, did you actually look lo look up what that was in Italian? Because that sounds very authentico. It's the Lali Lule Lo. It's the Lali Lule Lo. I was watching my buddy Yusuke play through uh, Snake Eater at work the other day, and he gets to the part where uh, Snake is supposed to rendezvous with Adam, but Eva shows up instead, and Snake is like, WHAT'S THE PASSWORD?! And she doesn't know the password, because she's not Adam. But then, like, uh, some Gru- some Gru-goons get the drop on him, and in the chaos, she kills him, and earns Snake's trust. And, like, if you're- if you're Ava, what you should do is try to try to drop the subject, try to deflect from the fact that you don't know the password, and just lead into, "Hey, I'm your I'm your contact. Here's some info. Here's a gun." But instead, she goes, "Is that enough of a password for you? You've just reminded him that he's looking for a password." It makes me angry. You've just reminded Snake that he still needs to get the password from you, and that you don't know it. God damn it! What a great game, though. Fixing wedge got teleported. Yes. Where to? I don't know. I'll never sell. Arvis. I ain't looking at that password after that. To ah, uh, the home for infinite losers. That's where they go. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see here. Hello, Supple Think. I'm not playing a mod. You know that. Are you winding me up? 
Are you pushing my chain? That's not a thing anybody says. What are we naming Terra? Tina. Boom, 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 boom. Not like it matters, because we're not going to be using her, really. It says CES. I don't know. Oh, CES is a Celeste Edgar Setzer, as in those are the only three characters we're allowed to use in the world of Ruin. I thought it might be the name of a mod. It is not. Getting on the PC so I can go log into 14 and the greatest I've seen all the land or something? Yes. Anyone have any channel points they want to use to name Terra? A challenge run. That's right. The three snob siesta. What? Anybody? Nobody's got a name for this gal? There it is! Thank you, Ghost Raven. <laughs> Tell her! Oh. Wait, is that intentionally misspelled, or do you want me to add the H on the end? Is... <laughs> do, do, it's up to you. FF4 Tella had an H on the end. Add the H, please! There we go. Good old Tella. God damn it! Capital... Nope. My name is Tella. I considered doing the capital H, but it would have bugged me the entire run. Like my brain would have prevented me from taking control of this game. Tella! <laughs> Gosh, it's me, Tella. I don't have time to explain, you have to leave. Go in the back. We did Doma Castle last night in that song. Yeah, it's so good. Oh shit, I forgot to... Oh, I gotta get the elixir later. Last time I played Chrono Trigger, I just jumbled all the names. So Marvel's Frog, Chrono was Robot. That's so confusing. Ghost Ribbon! Starla was in FF5. Oh yeah, wasn't that uh, Bart's mom? Doma Castle opening is so good. Boom, 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 boom. Bart's mom is Marguez. In the really bad GBA translation, they made her Stella so someone could shout Stella. Good. Nah. If she's one shot in dudes from the back row anyway, let's keep her there. I don't know. I didn't really think that one through. <laughs> well, it's not as stupid as the FF6 playthrough I did where I named everybody Kefka. Because you can name people the same thing in FF6. And I thought it would be funny? It just made everything impossible to understand. I mean, this was back in the mid 90s before I had the entire script memorized. <laughs> Tella, you put me through hella. Or oops, all boards. Oh, that's right. FF4 allows that as well. Oops, all boards. Well, I guess I can't one shot these, can I? Do -do 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 -do. God damn it. Oh my god, I'm uncomfortably full of food. Hey, Tella gained a level. Boop, beep, boop, beep, bop, boop, boop. When I was a kid, I renamed everyone in FF4 into a different kind of fish. That's pretty good. I tried to name the Law and Chaos Heroes Daryl, but it wouldn't let me give the same name to more than one character. What? Oh, an SMT1. Repo Man! <laughs> Play a little bit of that Jackbox 7 last night. Oh, it's good! I miss Jackbox. It's been a while. So that killed my Bob Newhart run. <laughs> no! 
Oh yeah, I like uh well the only drawing ones I really know are Drawful and TKO, but they're both pretty good. Are there new drawing ones? Do, 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 do. And yeah, nice. I love that Jackbox. I wanna do more Jackbox on the stream with Ray. There's one that's similar to TKO. I like TKO, but it seems to go on for exactly one round too long. Like every time it's like Oh, aren't we done? Jack Boyd. Dong. Oh no, Slave Crown. The Hypno Crown, I believe in the Japanese version. Same as the Hypno Crown in FF5. <laughs> there is a streaming mode that shortens TKO. What? Oh, Gork, that's great. All glory to the Hypno Crown. All glory to the Hypno Crown. Takes out one of the drawings people need to do. Oh, that's good. Because I like TKO. TKO can really give you some gold. Ding, 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 Freddy Penis. Hi, Ape! How's it Ape? I can't remember what the new one is called. It's something champions. Eternal champions? <laughs> I think it's eternal champions. Welcome to our old friend Ape. Bum, 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 bum. Champed up. Oh, wait, yeah, we did play that. We played that one a few months ago. We found it kind of dumb. Or maybe I just did. <laughs> I think other people might have liked it. I don't know. I think maybe I need to, like, approach it with a different mindset. Because there, there was something a little bit meme-ish about the use of the word champion. Which struck me as absolutely not funny. Alright, what do we name and lock? I'm good, I'm having a nice day. Feels like I'm going to be- Oh, shit! Uh, looks like Broken Quidge is in! So sorry, Gwerk. I'm gonna need those points refunded to Gwerk. Do 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 do. Boom, boom. Uh, phone, would you mind doing that? Or fricassee! Treasure hunting. Yeah! Blather round. Oh, wait! I like- wait, do I like blather round? Or ape! Yes, that's right! Which one is blather round? How do we do that? Just so we know. <laughs> I forget. We got so many mods here. That's right. Lock should have been Rosa. <laughs> bom bom. Oh no, Gal can be Rosa. Perfect. Bum bum Dunzo, thank you, phone! This UI is trash, it sure is. It's not great. Boom 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 boom. Most of Twitch is bad, that is a fact. Look at this wannabe mummy. Found you. Graphic design is my passion. I'm yawning, but it's not because I'm sleepy. It's because my body has been immobilized by food. It'll wear off. This is the part of FF6 I hate doing the most when I replay it. Yeah, I mean, the beginning is always annoying to redo again. Passion design is graphic. But to me, it's like, what do you consider the beginning of a game? Because that's the annoying part. This is, certainly. I feel like, I feel like once you get to... Look at all them mooks. I don't know, like maybe uh maybe when you get to the uh the, the, the three way split, that's kind of when the beginning of the game starts to wear off. And I don't mind that. But then you get shit like you know, because I hate replaying the beginning of games, but then you get shit like Final Fantasy VII where uh oh, 
the beginning of the game is this one stupid garbage town that takes you 10 hours to get out of. <laughs> Which is one reason I just- I hate starting a new game of FF7. Who's got a back row? It's just Koopop. Huh. <laughs> really drags ass. It really whips the llama's ass. Kumama. Watch your mouth, Broken Quest. Look at all them moogs. Imagine taking the worst part of F7 and making a whole game out of it. Who would do that? Klong, bong, crash, bong. Come on, goes in the back. Bring it. I'll fight all you dorks. This is how I usually... This is how I did it as a kid, because it's just the safe way. Oh, there's no safe ways in Japan. Hold the line! Protect Girl Chan! Protect Tella! <laughs> <laughs> Klong bong. Did Japan have Luckies, Vons, Albertsons? I'm gonna say no, no, and no. Hi, it's me, Mog. Poo, poo, pee, 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 and poo. Poo, 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 and pee. I mastered a new dance. Yeah, let's go right for the goon. Uh-oh. They only shop at Don Quixote's, that is true. It's too early for pee pee poo. Oh, you're right. Oh, no, was I doing already? I think it's because I'm yawning and my brain's telling me to be tired. I refuse to give in. Hold the line was from Braveheart or the Patriot. I'm sure it's from every war movie. It's not an original line. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Here we go. Excuse me, wolf man. <laughs> Hold the line. What's that from? Uh, war? Bump, bump, bump. Oh, this tea is good. This tea is kicking. It's kicking my mouth into a smile. I've got to get to the commander. Hold on, stay with me. Find yourself alone riding the green fields of the top page. Oh, yeah, that's that's gladiator. That's the glads. That's Joey Gladstoneator. We threw a wrestling, we threw a pro wrestling themed birthday party for my buddy Tom a few years ago, and uh, I mean, we uh, part of the party was we we were given like. A, a bag full of, uh, costume stuff, and we had to come up with a tag team. Uh, we had to partner up and come up with a wrestling tag team. And my buddy Jason and I partnered up, and we, we created, uh, Full Nelson House, uh, Danny Slammer, and Throwy Gladstone. And then he actually did a back backbreaker on me, and I actually almost broke my back on the floor. <laughs> it was real stupid. Um... Like, I hit my spine. I hit my back so hard when I landed. Um, first of all, I couldn't get up. It knocked the wind out of me. And my vision was just fuzz for about five minutes. It took five minutes for my vision to come back. My vision was fuzz for five minutes. And, like, I struggled to stand up, and someone, like, guided me to a seat in another room. It was great. No matter what people say or do, we have to be ourselves, and we're gonna stick together. You know why? Because we are ducks, and ducks fly together. That's also Gladiator! Ghost Ribbon, you can't just paste the whole goddamn fucking script of the same movie into the chat all night! Me and our friends did backyard wrestling as well. How do you take your moogie chest sweetened or no? Oh god, never, never sweetened. I don't drink any sweetened tea. At all. Well, this Earl Grey. I will... The only exception to, uh, sweet, 
sweet mug drinks is uh, obviously hot cocoa, uh, but also coffee. I'm, I'm a sucker for disgusting coffee mate flavors like Thin Mints. They're sickeningly sweet and disgusting, and I will always put that shit in my coffee. But I will not put actual sugar in my coffee for some reason. I mean, Ghost Ribbon could do that. We've certainly seen Dumber. Gladiator's my favorite movie. I live my life emulating Gladiator. <laughs> Gladiator's a pretty cool guy. He kills tigers and doesn't afraid of anything. The best coffee made is Italian sweet cream. What? That sounds great! Where do I get that? Don't say Italy! <laughs> I don't think Japan has coffee mate. I really wish it did though. Like the only time I really gorge on coffee mate is when I go home to America to visit my family. Because my brother stock my brother's the only person who stocks it in his house. My, my mom thinks it's disgusting, so she doesn't buy it. But I've had it so much at my brother's house that my mom knows that I like it. Now my mom will buy it when she knows I'm visiting. Voce is all of the Italian sweet cream. That's true and gross. Sir, I need to talk to your bucket. Speaking of sweet, I bought a bottle of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. That thing has double the sugars compared to Coke. I only finished half and dumped the rest. Gross. So your mom hates your brother. <laughs> Kinda. Should buy it for you, but not for him. Well, he lives in his own house. But yeah, you're right. She should buy it. And mail it. Boop, boop, boop. I can't do like creamers anymore, but I used to be big into the Italian sweet cream. Now I just do sugar or like a drop of heavy. Ooh, heavy whipping cream sounds real nice. There were 400 steps exactly. Uh, there was a period of time where I would put a little butter in my coffee. And it's not because I woke up one day and I'm like, I want to put butter in my coffee. It's because I was, um,. Make, I was putting butter on toast for my wife, and I did that, and then I noticed I poured a thing of coffee, and I poured milk in it, into it, but I hadn't stirred it yet, and I was holding a buttery knife in my hand, and I'm like, hmm. He put the Crisco on toast. And it was okay. It was pretty good. So the next day, I started using a little bit more. And then I think I hit the tipping point, and it started to get gross, so I'm like, alright, no more of that. I don't drink coffee. Caffeine doesn't do much to- oh, Broken Quest. I thought you were going to say you dipped buttery toast in your coffee and had a revelation. That would be great. I can't remember what the thing was called. Um, Sacco and Vanzetti? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Bulletproof coffee. Oh, right! Was that the stuff that Mark Marin advertised? Because Mark Marin did a... Did a uh, a promotion for a coffee. But like, the way that he was describing it made it sound awful. He was not selling it to me at all. He was, ta he was talking about like how powerful it is and how jittery it's gonna make you. And it's not just that that's not a good product description, it's that I associate extreme coffee jitters with just awful shits because <laughs> that's what happens when you drink crazy strong black coffee and nothing else so Mark Marin's discussing this oh this coffee's great it'll get you all jittery I'm just like oh ew no G gross yeah strong coffee strong yeah right back on stimulants this week and the coffee's been acting like a multiplier gotta dial it back yes I'm starting to think that uh I think I mentioned this the other stream, but energy drinks don't do it for me anymore. But I think that might just be because Japan is a little stricter on what can be in an energy drink. I think in Japan, energy drinks are just soda. It's just... <laughs> Here, it's another sugary soda. This one tastes like mango. Because I had, I had a gigantic... I had one of those gigantic cans of energy drink the other day. I, I gulped it down and then almost immediately napped for three hours. What are we naming Edgar? Oh, see, the broken quest. I like where this is going. I like this a lot. So Cecil is going to be a part. Eat all the Taco Bell frig, see? Vodka with just ice and some water is excellent. Well, I don't drink, but you do. Occasional Jaeger bombs. I did used to drink Red Bull and vodkas. Uh, if I was at the hub. I need a sea break. Fuck your... 
pa Taco Bell party pack. I used to ruin energy drinks, and then I saw a tweet from Cleveland Clinic that said, they give you mini strokes, and I bet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I th okay. I think I'm not going to fuck with energy drinks anymore. Mini strokes. Jesus Christ. Inspired by a ghost ribbon. Based on true events. <laughs> Broken Quest thanking the ghostly ribbon with a sub. Thank you, Broken Quest. Could be bullshit. It was Twitter. Yeah, but was it, but was it the Cleveland Clinic's official Twitter account? Because that seems, you know. Was it called at Cleveland Clinic official? The real Cleveland Clinic? Did it have the blue check mark? I'm hardly normal. Just in case the kids like downing a 12 pack of Red Bull or like destroying four monster tall boys. Ew. Blue check mark must be true. Bump. Being like, yeah, their hearts explode. Oh, gross. I must go talk to Matron. Now, hang on here. CES is now going to be CCS. Unless, like, we, unless we can give E and S names to Celeste and Setzer. Like, although, maybe we could just keep Setzer as Setzer. <gasps> hey, bro. Dad looks sick. Tears? Ah, the tears of a clown. Cecil's twin brother who traded the throne for his own freedom. Well, we know what Cecil's brother's name is. Is anyone going to chime in with it? I hope you do. Jack Johnson. And bitter rival John Jackson. Low on bird box. All right, well. I'll give it a minute. Oh, wait, I got 10 minutes till cake time. Hold you, nuclear landlord. I'm so sorry, Arky. Nuclear landlord. In there to win there. We're going to need those points refunded. To the legendary arc. Well, my idea for Cecil's brother was better. Yes. I was looking for Golbez, but I'll take Hoju. The kids will call him Hoju. Proper brother, always stabbing you in the back. Boom, 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 boom. Who needs a refund? Arky does. Arky needs a refund. Throw a little extra in there, too, while you're at it. <laughs> Was looking at Wondrous Tales. Ooh. <laughs> I can't think of an FF14 FF4 character name that starts with S. Uh um, Do summons count? Shiva? <laughs> oh, do you should play Robocop vs. Terminator? Hi Andy. No. I already taking care of Sid. Sid with an S. Oh. Uh. You know what though? Once we name Edgar, Celeste, and Setzer, I'm gonna change the acronym on the stream info to whatever the three letters are. So then, then people come in and be like, "What's it? What the hell is a, a QCR run?" Uh, obviously it's Quigley, Cecil, and Reginald. Idiot. What are they gonna do? Robocop versus Terminator versus Alien versus Predator? I don't know, Nuclear Landlord. Maybe they're waiting for you to do it. Robocop versus Terminator versus Alien versus Predator versus Freddy versus Jason. Versus X versus Sephir. <laughs> uh, it's called the Versiverse. The Versiverse Cinematic Versiverse. Royal Rumble. Boop, boop, boop. 
Take gr Oh, I gotta talk to Kafka. God damn it. What is this? Run, Baron Bong Rips! It's nothing yet, but, uh... CES just means, uh... When I get to the World of Ruin, I have to finish the game with only Celeste, Edgar, and Setzer. Which I've never done before. We better win, so we lose. Whoever wins, we lose! Kafka, he's a clown and does some bad stuff. Sounds tough, probably. I'm still allowed, I'm allowed to like use espers though. Cause I'm gonna need some level up stats, I'm gonna need some magic. So that's no problem. Plus everyone's gonna be getting, what, 25% extra <laughs> experience points in the second half of the game? That'll help, certainly. Um, I do get the offering, which is what it was, what Setzer needs to be a strong boy. Edgar's tools are okay, I guess. And Celeste is a magical powerhouse. As long as she has a, a, a Enhancer, Minerva, Mystery Veil. She's a fucking killer. And she'll have Ultima. Oh no, she won't have... She won't have Ultima. There's no way for me to learn Ultima, is there? What do you, you learn from Paladin Shield? Or... Is it Ragnarok? No. Yeah, it's... Is it Ragnarok? Shit. I might not have Ultima. Do 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 do. Because I can't get the Ragnarok or the Paladin Shield. Because I can't unlock doors. Because I can't get lock. I, I mean, uh... Edge. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now. You'll soon find your way. Now that I have an actual machine that might be able to handle this, I want to... Take another stab at doing the um, uh, on the fly machine translation with a Japanese language version RPG. Also, I have a proper Google Translate API key now, which also may be why it didn't work originally. Or it could have been that I was playing it on a 10 year old netbook that I bought for $250 at Costco. But it still ran FF11 perfectly. Oh, good lord. Alright, cake time is in five minutes. Can I pause streaming? Oh, yeah. I remember reading about the machine trains, I think, for games a few years back. I never got around to setting up, though. Yeah, it fascinated me when I uh, first read about it. And so I tried it out on that shitty netbook. And, like, it worked 10% of the time. And it took between 20 and 60 seconds for it to return a translation and pop it up on the screen. And I don't—I think a lot of that was just the fact that I, w I didn't have an API key and I was trying to do it for free. For free? Like a cheapo? I mean, the API key is still free. It's just a pain in the ass to get. <gasps> Here we go. Mm -hmm. Do you recall what it was called? I want to download it again. Um... It was just a function of RetroArch. It was in RetroArch. In fact, hang on, wait, I think I can bring it up. Because now I'm curious where it is as well. I want to say... I want to say my controller just stopped working. What was that? That was bizarre. Uh, settings. Dude, AI service. Yeah. Yeah, service output. I could, I could, I could just have it do text to speech. <gasps> that might rule. Pause during translation. Pause core while screen is translated. No. Source language. Set it to Japanese right now. Holy shit! Wow, this has got a lot. Wait, why is there no Japanese? <laughs> Uh, it should be right between Irish and Kanada. Maz Kanada. Whatever. Can it be Voce? I wish. Yeah, it's just part of RetroArch. 
A submarine castle is still the coolest shit. It's pretty good. I wish I had one. Time to fight goons. Trying to G for glorious Nihongo. Nihongo. Fuck yourself, death. No one can touch the people of Figaro. You got. Don't forget to put the hatch down this time. You're, you're gonna fill the hallways with sand again. Edgar got real cheesed. Is he blonde? Yeah, I guess so. And poo 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 pee and pee pee auto crossbow all day, all day long. Fight! Don't do it! I already did, I already poo pooed. <laughs> poo poo poo. Pee 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 pee. What's going on, man? Did you see that? No, I did it! I did it! Pee pee poo poo! Magic? Sorry, sorry, I can use magic. Gee. Sorry, I know how to use fire. Dang, tell us a Satanist, I knew with that green hair. Man, I was listening to a true crime podcast for like the past couple of months. And it started out really good, and it ended up the dumbest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Stop swooning! It was like, it was a, a true crime story, it was like an actual thing. I don't know if anybody, I think it was called The Killer Within, The Devil Within? Yeah, The Devil Within. Maybe, maybe someone else listened to it, but it was like... Like, I want to hear about this case and all the details and shit, and it's, it's creepy kooky. And it just turns into, like, Satan shit. Like, even if the kid was, like... I mean, this is, it was the 80s, it was a satanic panic. But I guess there was a real satanic cult, and I guess this kid was in it, and I guess he gave birth to a demon? The last episode was just complete speculation and fiction, but it was presented as fact. And I'm, like, the whole time I'm screaming at my phone, THIS IS DUMB! Talk about the crime, you fuck! The Satan not commit crimes? No, he outsources Broken Quest, that's his whole deal! Oh, trigger the mama mama magic scene. Hey, this ain't no speedrun. The only true time, true crime podcast I get into was a uh, small town murder and crime in sports. <laughs> there was only one crime in sports, and it was the opening scene of uh, the Last Boy Scout. Did they ever catch that guy? I think I might have listened to that. It was, it just ended like a couple days ago. It was real dumb. It was stupid. And I like true crime stuff, but like it also has to be presented in an interesting way. Because I'll start... I've started and quit so many true crime shows because the shows, they were, they were either dumb like this, sensationalist, or just boring. Like, there's... Yeah, there's people who know a lot about crimes, and they do the research, but they don't, like... They have no, like, radio presence. They have no voice. I'm just listening to somebody read a Wikipedia article. It's not engaging. <gasps> All right, hang on. It's, it's cake time. It's cake time for me. So here's what I'm gonna do. Where the fuck is the cave? It's first of all, it's cave time. Cake time. All right, I'm gonna sit here on my bird. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy some. Oh, I almost hit restart, that's bad. We're gonna pause. I'm gonna take a brief break. And I'll be right back. In a while, after I have cake.
Oh, good lord. Oh boy. Oh, that's a lot. We're back! Oh god. Oh, okay, that was really good. Really good, but god damn, I'm back and even- yeah, now I'm even more full. I mean, that's the reason we had to wait until 11.30. Cause I finished eating, like, 10.15, I'm like, I can't fit any more food. <laughs> but it was delicious. King Cecil! What is this, the after years? Oh boy. Slowed me down so much. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> nice recovery spring. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to the Leet River. We're gonna save just before we get on the river. Uh, and then I think what I'm gonna do is... Oh no, wait! Maybe I shouldn't grind on the river, right? If I need to maximize, um... Stat growth on level up. Yeah, let's try to avoid excess leveling. No, I don't think it's necessary to do a low-level run to do CES. This is new playthroughs. Chocobo Dreams! Yes, it is! I have never done a... Oh, CES run before. And honestly, the first half of it is extremely boring because it's just a regular run. Uh, but once we get to the World of Ruin, it's... It, it, beca it is the... Uh, it's Celeste, Edgar, Setzer. Those are the only three characters I'm allowed to use in the World of Ruin. And I gotta beat the game! Goatee Bear Consumer Electronics Show 1997 Featuring the Neo Geo It's taken America by storm The 3DO Jaguar Game Gear? No So yeah, we just started so it's it's <laughs> It's just gonna be a regular ass run for a while. The custom character names are going to confuse me. Good, that's what I hoped you'd say. <gasps> Shadow. I wonder what we're gonna name him. Yeah, see, Broken Quest knows what's up. We're here to confuse. I mean, I just. I make- I operate on the assumption that everyone is as big a nerd as I am and they have these games already memorized and nothing you name these characters could confuse you ever. You know? It's like if- Hi Bubble Rock! See? It's like if you- if, if someone did a fan dub of Toy Story and instead of Woody, they just kept calling him Regis Philbin. I wouldn't be tearing my hair out at the screen going, WHERE'S WOODY?! You know who- you know damn well who the fuck Woody is. Alright, what are we naming this ninja boy? Not yet. The King of Very Nerd Castle. That's right! <laughs> Don't you dare submit that channel point thing yet. You can submit it on three, two, One. All right, what are we calling this uh, shady boy? 
Rosa! Oh, ghost. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me. Shades. Eight hundred point. Well, I'm sure someone else can step up to the plate. Anybody? I mean, I'm gonna have to assign him one. Nobody wants that. <gasps> Bubble Roxy with Rosa. Thank you, Bubble. Ro oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. The assist. Bubble Roxy with the assist. Yes. Rosa's 16. Oh, no. That's Rosa. <laughs> He's just about to throw for nickel. Oh. Probably best I didn't get it in. Power key. Oh, no. Quirk. That ain't good. Damn. Shadow is so pervasive. His theme persists even in the basement. The dog eats strangers. Let's buy some relics. <laughs> I love that. He's like Stacy Keach. She has a lady's name, but nobody's gonna tell him that and mess with him. Yeah. My hero is level 66 in DQ5 now from trying to hire a metal battle. Nice, but also, I know your pain. It is a shitty thing to deal with. Uh, eh, we just need one sprint shoes for now. Oh, I should equip it. Um, I'll give it to Edge. I like trying to figure out the background of Alex's mod actions. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I keep wanting to play DQ5. I don't like the aesthetics of the DS games much as SNES, but I really like Deborah. She's the best wife. I'm surprised nobody's done a fan mod to, to put... I'd put Deborah into the Super Famicom game. Kung Fu suit. Cotton robe. Three plumed hats. Don't mind if I do. A heavy shield. You love to see it. No money. That's what I got left. Gotta be a wicked hack. It'd be tricky to do, though, because you also have to hack in two new kids. No. Eh, no. Locke's about to get a better weapon for free, so no. Yeah, fuck it. That was for people who want a hot wife. I guess? Get out of here, kid. Kid? Fine, I'll go this way. Alright, we're going up to get a free heal. Because we are penny pinch. We're gill pinchers. Deborah's people who want to be dominated by Trump. That, yeah, see, that's what I always thought Deborah was. This is, oh yeah, I want a wife to just kick the shit out of me. Here's Deborah. With Canadian accents are the two choices of people with taste. That's also true. Canadian accents are pretty good. One of one of the top ten most attractive accents. Step on me, Debbie. <laughs> and what was the uh, was it Gemma or Gemma or Emma? I mean the localization's Emma. What's Emma's uh, accent in DQ11? Is that Cornish? That was that was super hot as well. 
Pitter patter, let's get at her. Hang on here, Cecil, you go in the back. You know what? Everyone goes in the back. Australian accent also good. <clears throat> English accent also good. Everybody brings it up the re- uh... Mount Colts. Uh, ooh. Did that heal them? Are you having a giraffe? I thought humanoids were weak to poison. I thought wrong. Ah, time for my favorite Olympic sport, JRPGs. Mookie, you and me both. The 100 meter palazzo. Tusker and Serpius, they're cops. I gotta pop my collar again. There we go. That's how you do a birthday. 100, 100 meter rock man dad. Oh, that's perfect. God damn it, Vane. Vane, have you been here the whole time? Because that's word for word the exact thing I wanted people to not say. Uh. Oh, you just got here. Okay, welcome! Yeah, I get it. Cool. Let's pander to nerds with video game music during the Olympics. Got it. It's <laughs> still a shit event run by a shit organization. Did you see the Olympics are in Japan this year? Watch Fricassee back it up! Did they use the Super Mario song? <laughs> uh, oh god, I only have one Phoenix down. Holy shit. Oh man. Could be rough. I think they're going with boring ass. Can we see my nonsense? I've been some FF stuff. Yeah, I heard there was a lot of DQ stuff. Nintendo Dimka's the whole Olympics. Ooh, Guardian. What was Guardian again? Is that a yep, that's a WEP. I'd only give a shit if they played some Genesis Fart Symphony music. You mean, uh, Clang Bong Sprang Clong? The DQ game has grown me over the years, but the music's so great, so I mean, as much as it always has. Really? What a weird take. It's some of the most beautiful music in video games. I mean, maybe, I can see, I can see DQ1 grading on, DQ1 and 2 grading on people, but, uh, it's gorgeous. I mean, the guy's a shit heel, but it's gorgeous. I can't, I can't understand how it could be annoying. Like, I, I can understand how you might not like it, but it's like, it's like watching a butterfly flutter by your window and going, like, what is so offensive about that? Clang bong for the torch carrier. Wake me up when they play the Cheetah Man theme. Yes. Did you hear they played the entire Sonic Spinball soundtrack on a bridge? They goddamn better well have. So the committee forcing them to run the Olympics regardless of the COVID re uprise is true from your action. Uh, um, I am pretty sure. Hang on here. Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty sure Ghost Ribbon is just trolling at this point. 
because that's like to hate DQ and P3 and 4 that's like you have to try to do that <laughs> yeah, I think the case just seems to be Ghost Ribbon 100% can't stand music. When you kill a metal bat, when you see a little more dialogue here at the end of this battle, get excited. It's because it's some a hole dropped a chimera wing. No! Aww. Counters, Trillium. Once again, no idea what this enemy is supposed to be. Outline of a chameleon. It's anybody's guess. Is it a plant? Maybe it's a plant. Oh, wait, I think I kind of see it now. Well, they're dead. <laughs> so I better see one again. Oh, god damn it. It's a tapeworm. Gross. Oh, Edge ate one. Ant dot. This is, this is gonna be rough. We have no Phoenix Downs. Vines! Yeah, I think it might be a vine monster. I think it might be a very primitive Ochu. Received Tento. Oh! <laughs> uh, CES is uh, Celeste Edgar Setzer. Yeah, which I realize now is kind of stupid because the first half of the game is just the same, same as it ever was. The, the challenge really only kicks in when you get to the world of ruin, but then boy howdy. Although I'm wondering if there's any prep I need to do in the world of balance. There's less prep I have to do. <laughs> I don't have to worry about getting Mog's dances. I don't have to save Shadow. In fact, I ain't gonna. So yeah, we have to, we cannot recruit anybody else, which cuts us off from the Paladin Shield and the Illumina, which is not the end of the world. Gotta save Sid though. Do I though? Wait, that's a good question. Do we save Sid? It's not CESC. For the fuzzy feelings. Rose is an independent engine, don't need no saving. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap. Tella. Oh, I should have had you heal. Sid you later. It isn't low level, but I suppose the most amount of time with those three dead is the best. Oh, yeah. Well... I don't think it matters that much. Because if I think of any Celeste, Edgar, and Setzer I've had from any run I've ever done, if, if they were 99, yeah, they're going to walk all over everything. It, I don't think it matters. I mean, I'm going to avoid leveling on the Elite River just because that might add up if I just got an extra 20 levels. You know, you got the... whatever the Esper is that gives you plus two magic on level up. I just I just cheated myself out of 40 magic, which would make a difference. But... I think just playing... Why is Terra named Tell? <laughs> Why not? I remember taping my controller buttons down to grind that river. Let's Sid form his own party of protagonists. Yes! A fish! Oh my god, Sid and three fish? I just tell specifically because it sounds similar to... Yes, it's brilliant. I tell you what. Alright. One more helo. Perfect. Tara, get in that sleeping bag. I mean, Tella. There we go. Cecil and Sid, look the other way. Like proper gentlemen. Sid, three fish, and a baby. 
And that baby is baby baby Terra. Baby Tina. Baby Tella. This sucks. Baby Huey, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the no espers, the natural magic no esper run we finished. That was pretty easy. I actually finished it quicker than I do a normal run. Just because there was less grinding. And it, it kind of uh, laid bare the unfortunate truth that the you kind of don't need the Esper system at all to make this game work. It's just a nice little bonus. Uh, I think it just means that everybody's, or maybe half the parties, half of the party's special abilities are OP. Like, Sabin is the most broken character. Celeste and Terra also kind of broke. Although, to be fair, a lot of that was due to abusing the uh, M block glitch. Loaded dice! We're gonna be doing some of that. We're gonna be doing more loaded dice and offering. I tell you, I hate the expression because it undermines everyone's uniqueness. I said that last time. The game's answer is why FF8 ended up the way it did. I didn't know that. Offering in Genji Glove. Eh. I've never found Genji Glove to really be useful for anything. Offering is broken because of what it does to Fixed Dice and Valiant Knife and some other stuff. Illumina. Is it Illumina? Yeah, doesn't Illumina use up MP? Just if you want to use Illumina without sucking away your MP. Why Celeste Sacred Setzer? Are they considered the weak? No, that's the bare minimum. Those are the three characters you have to get in the World of Ruin. That's what the challenge is, is you're using the fewest available characters. Ah, oh, 16 tonics. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Store <laughs> Illuminium. Thank you, Sharktopus. Hoju sent you right. God damn it. We're close to having all FF4 characters and then Hoju. <laughs> Look at those poos. Girl Chan just defending. <laughs> I was reading Vargas was traumatizing for a lot of people as kids. What? Because he'd kill you as you, you f Hang on. Because he'd kill you as you failed blitz commands. What? Yeah, he's just a weird bear, man. Just training in the mountains with his two bears. You only get to miss the blitz like twice before it's game over. Yeah, so? Back from at the bay! Welcome back, supple thing. Pummel is left, right, left, A. It's like you're not... <laughs> you're not doing Zangief SPDs. You're not, you're not doing uh, birdie 720 super combos. It's left, right, left. Kids suck at games. I was 11 and I nailed it. I'm just saying what I read. Well, I'm saying what you read is horsey sauce. Kids don't know jack about dick and you can take that to the bank and smoke it. No, enough. Honestly, as a kid, I could not get the blitz right initially. Really? I thought the game explained it, extre explained it extremely clearly. Press A to choose blitz. Press left, right, left. Press A to finish the blitz. Can't wait for Alex to mess up the blitz. Supple think. Now I'm now I'm tempted to do it just for fun. Mortal attack blitz. This was the sixth NES game we owned. What were the first five? Let me guess. Super Mario World. And four more copies of Super Mario World.
mixing it up. Oh wait, does it have to be pummel? Holy shit, I didn't know that. Huh. I thought you just had to hit him with any blitz. Super Mario World, Super Mash, Alex, Smelee, Donkey Kong Country, Lion King, Mega Man X. Nice. Oh, Super Mario All-Stars. That makes more sense. I mean, I think I screwed up the very first time, but I didn't die from it because it gives you another chance. Oh, that's right. I, sorry, I keep forgetting English isn't your native language. I messed up the blitz too, which Alex is making me embarrassed to say. Yes! <laughs> Copy of Pilot Wings you played once. That was the rough draft of uh, For Sale Baby Shoes Never Worn. <laughs> A copy of Pilot Wings you played once. Super Mario All-Stars is my jam. Don't recall getting any game over. Yeah, Mario All-Stars is, All is real good. Bodybuilder, he's trade from his gym. Did you, I guess gyms exist in the world of FF6, in the, in the Ted Woolsey world of FF6. Love those returners. If I'd own only a handful of SNES games, all stars would definitely be in there. Yeah, oh, hands down. Especially if you got the uh, the combo cart that was All Stars plus Super Mario World. I like keeping All Stars on the test screen and pretending I was at a fancy party with Mario and the gang. That sounds like something I would do. Pound smash. Pound smash. <laughs> oh, SNES Freeware, Super Mario World, FF4, Secret of Mana, FMQCT. Nice! Those are all great. Let's get going. Goddamn brawlers. Don't respect nothing. Oh, uh, Gradius 3 was good. It might have been a little hard for me. I wasn't very good at shooters. Speaking of FFMQ, what are we, 33? I think, yeah, I think we're... We, we getting there. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, 33 years. Operation Logic Bomb, Doomsday Warrior, Aerobiz. I got the. Whoa, from Blockbusters. Nightboy! Hey, check this out. <laughs> Thank you, Nightboy Tritino Basso. I am checking it out. Nightboy, you're on the Jumbotron. Thank you for that subbo. I think we're going to do a proper 12-hour birthday marathon stream next week. I was going to do a subathon, but it sounds like too much work, so it's just going to be, Hey everyone, let's hang out and play a game. Some ass. Only had games I'd already played in this except for Mario 2, so due to being poor, I gave up on owning it over and over again. Oh boy. Have you decided on what game you're going to do, or is it going to be? It's going to be a bonanza. It's probably going to be some of this, some DQ10, uh, probably so you know all the games I'm achieving. Fantasy Star Three. I don't know. I've kind of lost interest in Breath of Fire Three. It's just not as it's not as good as I remember. It's a lot slower than I remember, and the translation is real bad. Za. Miracle Warrior Speedrun. He gone bonanza. <laughs> I think I'm taking a break from 14 until Endwalker drops, but I will play some DQ10. Actually, we're about to switch to DQ10 in a minute. Yeah, I'll buy one more. And here I was all, I never catch you online. <laughs> I'm here. TD16, you do consider everybody's asking us to give us a... It's a good time to not play FF14 with the current. F yeah, that, I'm seeing that as well. Skip ahead to Breath of Fire 4. Nope. Yeah, I've heard 14 in the past couple weeks has been increasingly dumb. That's a shame. Sure, I'll take a nap. Never played Dragon Quarter, but I think I would hate it just from reading descriptions.
14 is drowned in people. I love it. Some big MMO stream. Yeah. Dragon Quarter Pounder. Sounds good. Oh, it's being on. Time to purchase 11 instead. I already own 11. But I guess, I guess other people might not. Dragon one fourth. Dragon quarter speed one's really good. I haven't had any problems playing on Sarg. I'm not saying the complaints about server congestion are valid. They just seem to be extremely localized. Okay. I had it on 360 and played it for a month. Was not a fan. I always, I always wish... Uh, that was one of the few games I wanted uh, on 360. By which I mean I never owned a 360. But I almost bought one for FF11. What's an overrated Japanese food? Ooh! Kokoichi? <laughs> I'll say Kokoichi. What? Sushi rules. I mean, sashimi's where it's at. We had uh, we had sashimi with dinner, and it was real good. What? Oh, I'll take it, shark. Sushi's wonderful. Air Lancet. Antidote. Tinctior. True Knight. The Treasures of the Phoenix Cave. <laughs> I can see most people not liking Dragon Quarter. Which glove are you gonna get? Which glove am I gonna get? It was so weird, especially compared to the very standard Breath of Fire formula. Which glove? What does that mean? Oh! Um... I guess Gauntlet? Right? What about KFC in Japan? I mean, it's better than KFC in America, but... You know, so what? <laughs> It's still pretty gross. What up, Sabs? I mean, Hoju? Uh, so is Denny's, believe it or not. Denny's in Japan is really good. What about that hibachi where they make a volcano on fire? What? I just felt bad, but Genji Glove was more my thing. Is it- wait, is it- it's Genji Glove if you say no three times, right? I'm just gonna tell this old man. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Dicta. Maketa ka. Makenai de. Benny Hana. Nani. Uh, sure, I'll be your ray of hope. Just give me the gauntlet. Hand over the gauntlet, and no one gets hurt. In fact, everyone gets saved. Here are some exceptions. Sid. Shadow. Everyone who gets crushed between tectonic plates uh, at the end of the world. Um, Leo. General Leo. Sorry, buddy. Takoyaki's good. Meow Jr. his grandma it's 
If I were an FF character, I'd want to be the guy that plays the bass during tense events. Event. Yeah, that did rules. Have you had Nato? I love Nato. Nato's great. Nato is good stuff. <gasps> Uh-oh. Emergency, Sir Bannon. Nato gonna lie. I love Nato. What about the guy that plays bass in Luffy? That guy, it might be the same guy. I think you know what? I think back in the nineties they just hired out one guy. Um His name was Base Base Gay Tatsujin. Oh good lord, I'm so full. Yeah, Luffy is I was I was pleasantly surprised by the Luff. God that in jingle. In a in a rare a rare upset, I feel like the in jingle from Luffy 1 is superior to the in jingle from Luffy 2. It's the same melody, but the, the instrumentation is different. It's not as chill. Gotta go to Narsh. But before we do... Base game needs to be your Japanese Duke Silver. <laughs> Duke Silver! Oh, that was in the back row. We live in the back row. We are living in the 90s. Saved. All right. Let's switch to DQ10. Uh, hey, if you're watching this VOD on YouTube, sorry there was 10 minutes of me eating cake in the middle. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>